Hi everyone, Miss Jackie here. I wanted to come back this week and read you another story. Um, it is one of my absolute favorites. Actually, my mom just sent it uh, to my kids in the mail. It is called Fiona Flamingo and it is by Rachel Chu. Okay. Before we get started though, I wanna do a song that we do in the classroom before every meal and I hope that you'll follow along at home and help me out, okay? So I'm going to put your hands up. It's the open, sh open, shut them song. Okay. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. All right. We're going to get started on the book. Why I am reading the story, I want you to be thinking about all of the emotions that Fiona has. Okay. So she has lots of different emotions in the book. And um, I want you to be thinking about what they are. And also, is there ever a time that you have felt that way? Okay, and we'll talk about it at the end of the day. Okay? All right, make sure you can see here. All right, here we go. On a beautiful, sunny afternoon where life was simply the best, a little flamingo named Fiona hatched from her egg in a nest. Little Fiona grew up making lots of friends. They played flamingo games from day's start to day's end. As the time passed, the birds all became stronger. They also got pinker and their feathers grew longer. They turned pinker and pinker with each feather they grew. They got bigger and bigger until some of them flew. Fiona remained featherless until it happened one night. She woke up with feathers, but they were bright white. The other flamingos gasped and stared at her in shock. They couldn't believe what they were seeing and wildly began to squawk. Her friends looked at the white feathers, not knowing what to think. You're not the right color. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. With everyone shouting, Fiona began to get scared. She looked at her feathers and then she looked at theirs. You don't have to be so loud and please don't make a scene. That's when Fiona started shaking and her feathers turned green. When her friends saw the change, they squawked louder and meaner. Fiona got more anxious and her feathers grew greener. Her friends looked at the green feathers, not knowing what to think. Stop being so silly, Fiona. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Oh no, said Fiona, this is worse than just bad. But her friends kept on squawking and then Fiona got mad. You're making me angry, she jumped and furiously said. That's when Fiona started yelling and her feathers turned red. The flock became silent, hoping things would get better. But Fiona got madder and her feathers grew redder. Her friends looked at the red feathers, not knowing what to think. Don't you think you should calm down now? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. They all rushed to hug her and now Fiona felt sad. Her anger was fading, but now she felt sad. She whimpered and cried, I'm all mixed up in hue. That's when Fiona started sobbing and her feathers turned blue. The flock watched from afar and their concerns grew truer, but Fiona just got sadder and her feathers grew bluer. Her friends looked at the blue feathers, not knowing what to think. Just what kind of bird are you? 
flamingos are supposed to be pink. No one could cheer her up, so instead they stayed away. That's when Fiona got lonely and her feathers turned to gray. A young chick floated up with a gaze so pure and true. I hope my feathers changed colors when I'm as big as you. Fiona flashed a happy smile and her feathers erupted in color. It was a surprise to everyone. No feather was like any other. Pink, white, and green, red, blue, and gray. She was every single color now, and that's the way she'd stay. The entire flock gathered round and Fiona gave a wink. I guess we've all learned a lesson here. Flamingos don't have to be pink. the end. So can you remember some of the emotions that Fiona had? Um, let's see, I know that they talked about being, uh, she was scared, um, and then she was angry. Do you remember what color she was when she was angry? Did she turn red? Whoever you're with today, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, friend, whoever it may be, I want you to talk about um, the different emotions that you remember. And have you ever felt that way? Okay. Also, um, talk to them about, um, at the very end, they say, um, flamingos don't have to be pink, right? That was the lesson that they learned. What do you think about that? I want you to talk to whoever you're with about the lesson in the book. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love it. Um, and um, I miss all of you, and I will definitely come on soon uh, to read you another story. Thank you.